guys and girls and welcome to today's video. I was on eBay, trying to look for some games obviously, so picked up some PS2, a PS1 game. I was at a car boot sale on Saturday there, it was 10 stalls, I had hardly nothing. I'd, I seen one game, which was seen it for the Xbox 360, they had the buzzers and I went to the wife. How much you want for that hen? She went, a fiver. So obviously on my phone, eh? CX <laughs> for four quid, isn't it? Nah, you're alright, dog. Another quick have a look about a couple of DVDs, but there was nothing worth anything. It was actually really, really bad. It's actually a waste of time. Well, it wasn't a waste of time. Went to the charity shops as well, so. Start off with the first pick up. Obviously, this game cost me a grand total of £1.15. I'll get it on the screen once I've showed you it, but it was, if you've seen my short video, it was Killzone for the PS2. £1.15 delivered to your door. Um, it's not got the manual, I don't think, unless this is the manual, which I'm not sure. Could be. Is it a manual? We can have a quick look through. It's got controls and that, so that must be the manual, I think. £1.15. Uh, this, this was in fine condition. If you've seen the last video, I bought this compound Phoebe. 8 99 and by the way, it's really good once you get the hang of it. One of the games I've got to show you there had a wee scuff on it. I polished it for a minute and it's removed it, so it's actually really good once you get it. You just rub it really gentle, and then you let it dry, and then you can put a bit of pressure on it to rub it off. It's actually really good. My video didn't do it justice, to be honest with you. It was my first time, and I thought I would record it and see how I got on. The disc uh, uh, that I did work. That the darts game I'd, I'd done with it. I never checked if it played or not, but it was really bad and it looks really good now. So, yeah, that was the first game. eBay £1.15. I mean, I don't know how they make money on these things, eh? And the postage would have been made or not. So, first bargain of the day. Next bargain of the day costs £1.50. Well, obviously, we'll get it on the screen at some point as well. One of my favourite games on the PlayStation 2, which is probably a lot of folks' favourite game. Classic. Entered the 3D world for the first time. I played the original on the PC, yeah. And it is GTA 3. And it says European Edition when I bought it, so I'll have it on the screen. The only thing is, it, didn't, it says no manual, but it came with a map, which is even better. I didn't check the disc on this one, I played it. Oh, that's fine. Got a couple of scratches, but I could probably remove them with that compound, no problem. Doesn't affect you, so you can play that with the map, obviously. So I was surprised it came with them. I kind of had no manual, but for £1.50 delivered to your door, eh, you can't complain. It's actually in German. It's in English on the back. When you load it up, it's in German, but you can change the language as soon as you pause it. It's easy to change. And it looks, to be honest, it just looks like a PAL version. If I put that into CX, it wouldn't be any, any different, to be honest with you. So £1.50 for GTA 3. Bargain of the day. Continuing with the PS2, this is a gay game franchise as well that I really liked. PS1, the first one was brilliant. All the kind of scenes and the... Oh, the cut scenes. Stealth. Brilliant. I remember finishing the OG. I can't mind if I ever finished this one. I think I got quite far on it. I've actually got it on the 360. It's no 360. Series S. It is Metal Gear Solid 2. You know, I paid five. I can't mind. I'll get it on the screen. But it came. This is like a six pound game in CX. It came with. I got them two for less than the game in CX delivered to my door. Now this is a, like a fifty pence game. I wasn't bored about it, but to get, I was looking for this mainly, and this was cheaper buying this with this than all the other listings at the time, so under six quid, two games, that's, that's a classic, that is a classic, you know what I mean? So I'm doing alright with the PS2 games at the minute, that, that's just, uh, I actually took the case of the darts game, this has got the case for the darts game which had a bit of damage. 
put the scratch video and I swapped it with the darts game because the darts game is a game I'd play this. This would just get bunged on the shelf or I'm going to make a wee games bundle of games that I've got that I didn't play or I've picked up for different systems that I don't own but yeah, I think that was a film. So yeah, last game was a PS1 game, I won it on auction, the auction was £1.99 plus £3.30 postage which worked at just over £5 I'll get it on the screen obviously it's a sport which uh, I enjoyed watching on Saturday night it was in Manchester and uh, old Paddy the Baddy won I doubt he's in this game because it's a PS1 game but it is Ultimate Fighting Championship obviously UFC now this is complete it's good condition this comes in good condition as well. Had a couple of these scuff marks, I, I polished them off with that compound. Works well with compound on them discs. Plus the compound doesn't take the colour out of the black, like if you use scar scratch remover it seems to remove it. So yeah, I've not played this. Anybody played this? Looking at the back it's... Doesn't it show you much, a couple of these screenshots. I'm not expecting much to be honest yeah, but it's UFC, I didn't even know this exist, existed eh? so it was UFC on the PS1. So that was today's pickups, I spent a grand total of just over a fiver, 11, 12, 50, about £13, which is pretty decent eh. Obviously, these three for me were the main ones I was really wanting. I didn't, as I said, I didn't know if it existed. I only picked that up because of the price, £1.15, you're not going to hang that. And that just came with Metal Gear, you'll see it on the screen. So, that was this week, well, maybe another video, but that was this week's one for eBay pickups. Um, what do you think of these games? A lot of folk going to like sports games. Do you like Kevin or played Killzone 1? Let us know what that one's like. I played one in the PS3, one of them. Obviously, I played GTA 3. I've also played Metal Gear 2. I'm not played old. If you've played that as well, let us know if it's any good. I play UFC 5 on the Series S, which I get battered all the time. If you check some of my shorts, I've got a nice couple of wee knockouts on it. It's a brilliant one with my favourite fighter, Max Holloway. A wee Guys getting under pressure, slip it away and just go bang, KO'd. So it's all about. Anyway, talking shite as, yours, as always. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, we'll see you again, won't we? Hopefully. Thank you.